Hello, class here. League of Legends. Um, so, this isn't gonna be a actual match. I'm just um, I have one bot in a custom game because um, I wanted to just show a bit how I farm minions because. I was told that would be a good thing to do. I'm just like a beginner at the game, and I'm dropping my slinky, because I don't need my hands on the mouse for this part. <laughs> um, let's see. So yeah, I'm just going to be farming bot lane against a beginner bot, because beginner bots are all that's available in custom games, and just sharing some tips from one beginner to some others. Good times. Um... The first rule of farming, or something, is to only attack when you're actually going to kill a minion with it. Uh, let's see, minions don't even show up yet. I don't know what I'm clicking around for. Um, so, yeah. There are several advantages to that. One is that the lane will tend to push your way if the enemy attacks more than you and if I'm like all the way up near the enemy tower if somebody comes down here I have to run past them to get back to safety and also I have farther to run from these people so like if someone with red buff comes here I'm slowed and running away this whole distance back to my tower well the people here and the person that came from there are like killing me so you want the lane on your side, unless you have like wards. If you have like a ward here and you can see him coming because of your awesome minimap awareness that I don't have even when there is a ward there, um, then you can not die. And that's pretty cool. Not dying. Um, so often, your minions will tend to focus just one or two of the enemy minions and they'll tend to die at different times. So you can just casually kill the ones that are about to die. Oh. Uh, this isn't working out so well this time. Oh, wait, no, this one's gonna die first. Oh, I messed up. My aim. Yeah, um, it's easier to farm if you bring, like, a Doran's Blade or something. I'm gonna actually kill this one, because she's pushing the lane way fast with Make It Rain. Uh, I don't want it pushed that hard my way, because then the tower will start killing them. So, the second rule of farming minions is to learn when to break the first rule. Ow. Yeah, and save abilities for using on your opponent. And since I have potions, I can afford to soak some damage in exchange for creep score. She took a bunch of damage not only due to my volley, but I bet my minions hit her if I had any left. Except I probably didn't, come to think of it. That's a reason not to go aggressive right at the beginning, because um, if you okay. target a champion near minions that are allied to them, the minions will turn and attack you. Okay, I'm gonna push the lane a little back with volley. I'm gonna play super badly, but I don't know, I'm farming well enough. Like, I'm winning by 4 CS already. And there are more of her minions in the wave, so I have more opportunities for CS. Oh, that was bad. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? No, I'm not. Let's see. Yeah, she went Doran's Blade. Doran's Blade... Yeah. It'll make her tend to win exchanges, because she has 10 more AD. It also makes it easier to farm if you actually have attack damage. So, yeah. Boots... It's good for other things than just farming and trading. Like, um, if your lane gets ganked, you can run away faster. And, like, skill shots are slightly easier to dodge. Did she run all the way out of lane? Wonder why she would do that. She clearly had hit points left. I don't think the tower shot her or anything. I don't know. Maybe she had a good gold value and went back to buy. Except I don't think she would, because she had literally 9 CS. And what are you going to get with that? Yeah, so I guess while she was gone, I should have, like, shoved the lane or something. 
Because um, if they leave and you push the minions all the way to their tower, the tower steals the kills. Uh, I don't know. It's shoved pretty far my way, though. So I don't know what best. So yeah, I tend to save my abilities not for shoving, but for um, harassing. Uh, I haven't been using them nearly as much as I normally would, quite honestly. Because a lot of the time you'll like, accidentally hit minions, too. Agreed. Uh, that was poorly played. Uh-oh. Yeah, my volley also allows me to get the last hit on minions that are out of range. Because it has a longer range than my basic attack. I just want experience from that one. Yeah. This gold thing on the side of your level, right there lights up a little if you get experience from a kill, so you can kind of tell how experience range is. Okay, it's pushing back my way, and I almost have enough for pickaxe. Pickaxe will make this, like, really easy. And there are enough enemy creeps here that I wanted to push it back a little. Because I don't want to take too much tower damage, I just want it towards my side. And she left the lane for a bit, so I leveled up first. Oh, whoops. Oh, I still got it. I want that one. And I want this one. And I want this one. And... Okay, I'm gonna shove a bit because I want to go back and I don't want her just pushing it to my tower. Yeah, so you want to know when you just want to farm, when you want to shove, things like that. You'll learn with experience. My aim is steady. And then of course there's when you blow your ultimate and your summoner spells and kill your enemy. That should be rare though. Most of your gold will not come from kills. I just saw the opportunity there because she was extended and I have a slow, so she had to run back all that distance and couldn't make it. Exhaust helped too because Exhaust prevents them from dealing nearly as much damage back on you. Oh, I could have got a BF sword. I didn't even notice. Um, okay, what am I doing? Agreed. Right, I was saying something. Oh yeah, Exhaust. Because it reduces attack damage dealt by 70%. They really can't duel you if you exhaust them. They're just kind of... You want some of I don't know, there's not much they can do, because it reduces movement speed by 40%. I guess if they're a mage, it doesn't hurt them quite as bad. It only reduces ability damage by 35%. And of course, if they have a stun, you still eat the full duration of the stun if they hit you with it. Okay, she's alive and back in lane. Yeah, I got that caster minion. My aim is <coughs> oh, I wasted my passive. I forgot that I have Ash's passive. Yeah, so she's been buying mana items. Or mana, I should pronounce it correctly. And so now I have a lot of power advantage over her because I have attack speed and stuff. I don't know why you would buy mana items. Maybe because you're a beginner bot. Right. But hopefully you, the listener, are not a beginner bot, because I just insulted the intelligence of beginner bots everywhere. Also, um, I'll note that between your attacks, there's a little moment where you can move, but you can't attack again. So that's why I would attack, and then step forward, and then attack, and then step forward. Just, I know, it helps a little. Now I'm intentionally trying to shove a little bit because um, I want to just push them to the tower, maybe get some free tower damage. Um, you'll notice I still didn't just constantly attack though, because after you attack, there's a small moment where you can't do anything, or you can't attack again especially, and I still wanted to not miss my creep score as much as possible. You'll notice that I haven't been great about creep score, just kind of good compared to players that auto attack the lane all the time. For some champions can almost afford to do that. Like um Agreed. if they have something that gives them some boosted AD, much like um well Teemo's poison isn't quite the same thing, but same effect. It adds some initial damage on your attack and then even some more damage afterward. 
And, yeah, if you have enough attack speed and attack damage, you can just kind of, like, attack the lane and get most of it. Since there isn't going to be jungler assistance or mid lane assistance, I'm fine with just pushing now. Especially because, um... My volley puts the back line at a good place where I can just take them each with two auto attacks. Um... Yeah, so... I don't know, that's a kind of champion and item and game state specific thing. You'll learn when you can just use abilities to um, make farming easier. I tend to try and hit the back line with abilities mostly, because they're easier to reduce to one or two attacks worth of hit points with just like a single ability. Um, also, one thing I'll note is that the um, middle lane tends to be where people do want to just farm with abilities a lot. You like knock out oh, whoops, the entire back line with an ability or something and I don't know. If the enemy shoves back then you're not in trouble. Plus that lane is shorter so even if you shove you're not as far and you have more escape routes. Although the enemy also has more attack routes. Oh, I'm out of mana. Except I can still use, um, slowing shot. Do do. Worth it. Especially because I didn't even die. <laughs> um, let's see. Is there anything else I wanted to say? Don't auto attack if you don't have to. But it auto attack if you want to, if it's appropriate. Use abilities if it gets them to nice hit points values. Don't use abilities early to shove the lane unless you really have a shoving strategy. Because, um, some teams really like just crushing towers as fast as they can. But, um, a lot of the times, even on the first one or two waves, it's not worth it to try and shove to the enemy tower. Because, um, you're not going to deal that much damage anyway. Like... Your attack damage is lower, your attack speed is lower, you're just not leveled up and not geared. So you'll knock off like 100 hit points from the tower. Plus the enemy champion is probably there killing all your minions. Or if you get too close, they'll get free attacks on you while you're attacking the tower. It's just not usually effective to try and push towers too early in the game. I probably wait longer than I should to push towers. But I'm usually a support, and that's usually the AD carry's choice anyway. Yes, now that I have BF Sword, I like barely even have to pay attention because I do like so much damage on my auto attacks. Quickly now. Yeah, like I deal 148 before armor, and so I can attack creeps much earlier in terms of their percent HP and still get the last hit. Also, my volley deals more damage, because it's an AD skill. Okay, well, they're targeting the cannon minion. I'm gonna... Okay, not all of them are targeting the cannon minion. Oh, look who's dead again. I'm too far ahead of her. She can't do anything. Mm, that probably makes this game not worth it to actually finish, though. Um, yeah, so I'm done. Misfortune died again. It was a good time. See ya!